win would guarantee Gani Rihanna a front row start. Joe Van Splinteren could get that front row start. So could Oliver Clark. But they would need Gani Rahan to maybe finish third or lower. We'll find out very shortly what happens. Everybody off the grid, 17 drivers in total. But number 333, three, three. well, Delofre slow away. Is up to speed, the Spaniard. Hopefully he will catch the pack, but not take the cut through. Jack Deakin in the number 252 car, the uh, crop livery machine. And uh, I have to say, Jack was most put out earlier because he's put his brand new race suit on. And uh, in the very first lap of his second heat, uh, another unnamed driver kind of strayed into Jack's path and uh, pushed Jack onto the grass. And he got mud on his new race suit, which he's uh, most upset about. Not as upset as his mother, although he's probably going to be given the task of washing it. But Joey Van Splinteren, 2010 European Senior Rotax Champion, took a break from karting for a few years. Then, when Niels Kuhlen went into karting and he's a mentor, Van Splinteren came back. Said, well, what better way to mentor another driver than by getting in the seat and driving with him? And he will have the field. Maurizio Hernandez. Uh, strawberry racing Tony Cart with the orange stripes down the side of it. We'll start on row two. Gideon Lay, that bright yellow and orange number 249 machine. And he starts third, the Jez Cart entry. Then it is Ghani Rahane in cart number 242. The same CBK team that are running Enzo Juli in juniors. Everybody else now lining up behind. Here's Oliver Clark right at the back. M Sport number 251. Through turn number 12. See Galofre Torne has caught the pack. We go into the tram lines. Will the lights go out? Yes, they do. We're off and racing. It's a good start from Van Splunteren and from Gillian Lay. Maurizio Hernandez slots through in third position. Down towards turn number two. Jack Deakin moves into P4. Good start from the number 252 car to get ahead of Ghani Rahane. Rahane has also been passed by the looks that's Ethan Tan, who's next in line. Here's Saxton Racing, number 220. Down towards turn number five. Still two, three wide in the pack. There is top three with Deakin and Tan. Nose to tail. Then it's Nicholas Scholl in cart 225. He's next. Deakin getting a little bit defensive there. Halfway around the opening lap. Edo Cohen is next up. And Edo Cohen to the inside of Ethan Tan. Oh, at turn number nine. That was a brave move. And somehow the Israeli driver made it stick. Now, up at the front. Hernandez trying to catch... Gillian Lay as Nicholas Scholl makes the move for fourth. Now, will we see Joey Van Splinter and pull away? Scholl fourth now, Deakin fifth, Cohen sixth, seventh is Tan. Now, Edo Cohen up the inside, going into the first. Oh, and Edo Cohen up over the back of Jack Deakin's cart there. He was having a nibble, and the nibble turned into a bit of a munch. And uh, the net result is that. Jack Deakin, oh, his back bumper, or part of the rear assembly, is now flapping up in the air. Well, we'll see if he gets a mechanical flag, whether that is deemed to be a safety issue or not. Normally, things like that are deemed to safety. Well, we'll have to see. But uh, poor Jack Deakin, 
not going to be impressed with that. Up at the front, however, Gillian Lee and Maurizio Hernandez are not allowing Joey Van Splunteren to escape. Through turn 12. Across the line. To complete lap number three. Or to go on to lap number three, rather. Fastest lap for Nicolas Scholl in fourth place. A 103.002. Scholl is closing in. Now, Ido Cohen has continued, but it's down in 17th place. We've got to change the lead. Gillian Lay briefly takes over top spot going into turn number five. Then he can't get the cart pinned down to the apex. Runs a little bit wide. Joey Van Splinteren moves back into the lead. Maurizio Hernandez takes second. And there is the, the confirmation. Jack Deacon is getting a mechanical flag. Oh, dear. Not good for Jack Deakin. Again, not his fault either, really. One of those things. Nicholas Scholl closing in on this battle on the screen. Maurizio Hernandez pointing backwards. Turns round. Sees Nicholas Scholl. Oh, sorry. Nicholas Scholl turns round points backwards and says, come on, can't you see they're catching us from behind? Oh, and there's Jack Deakin. He's going to have to come in and pit. Still running in sixth position, but not for much longer, sadly. Ghani Rahane will inherit... Well, Zhao Ferreira will actually inherit sixth place. Then Ghani Rahane in eighth and seventh. Oliver Clark will move up to eighth. With Constantine Scholl ninth. Jason Bian running at the top 10. But we have a four-card battle now for the race lead. Because Nicolas Scholl has caught Gillian Ley. We've still got Mar Maurizio Hernandez just directly in front of him. And there is poor old Jack Deakin slowing down. That must be so frustrating. But... have a mechanical flag you can argue about it all you want you've still got to come into the pits and if you don't you're going to get excluded so let's come into the pits to see what we may be able to get let back out without losing a lap we shall have to see but it is Van Splinteren from Hernandez Ley and Schoel up at the front lap number five Oliver Clark 102.461 literally quick lap there oh as Hernandez has a go at the inside of Van Splinteren into turn five that was almost a repeat of what happened between Ido Cohen and Jack Deakin earlier on. But uh, Hernandez found the brake pedal just that fraction of a second quicker. But it does look as though Van Splinteren is under pressure, and he is under pressure. Hernandez starts moving around the place, but this is lap number five. Van Splinteren is thinking to himself, I don't want to defend for the next six laps. Hernandez says, well, it's simple. You just let me pass, then. Gillian Lay and Nicholas Scholl squabbling over third. There is Scholl looking to the inside of Lay for P3 in a turn two. Oh, wheel to wheel. Nicholas Scholl just runs Gillian Lay out ever so slightly wide. It means that uh, he can take the position and he can prevent Lay from coming back straight at him into turn number three. Or four, for that matter. And now Gillian Lay is falling back into the clutches of Ethan Tan, who runs in fifth position, the youngster for the Pierre Sexton racing team. Hernandez. Gap over a second back to Nicholas Scholl in third. Now, and there's a move from Ethan Tan to take over fifth spot. So he's take over fourth spot. They complete another lap. Van Splinteren leads Hernandez by a whisker. Hernandez looks to the inside. Oh, there goes the move. And Van Splinteren, well spotted there, Joey Van Splinteren. And, uh, <laughs> You can see the finger going out saying, OK, you, I owe, you owe me one there. Because Maurizio Hernandez had committed and was going in on Van Splunteren, whether it was going to work or not. And uh, Van Splunteren jinked to the outside just as Hernandez uh, arrived. And because he knew that if he turned in, Hernandez would have taken them both out. 
As they come out of the corner, Van Splinter went, OK, you owe me one. You got one in the bank with me, Sunshine. I'm going to cash it in just now. It'll be a heat race. Might have to cash it in when there's a few more points on the line. And I think Maurizio Hernandez will probably appreciate that. Probably. You never know. Shoal third. The second of those green and white Tony carts from Strawberry Racing. Then it is Gideon Lay. Oliver Clark now up in the sixth position. But is nearly a second behind the top five. Down the back straight go the leaders. Lap number eight out of eleven. Still, Hernandez leads. Van Splinter in second. Shoal right there in third. Nicholas Shoal's looking very good here, I have to say. Just get past Van Splinter and think that Maurizio Hernandez would be uh, relatively easy pickings. But as Van Splinter is showing us, Maurizio Hernandez is anything but easy prey. and Oliver Clark are closing in. So, although Hernandez is now having to defend, drive too defensively at the moment, he is not as quick as the drivers behind him. It doesn't matter now because Joey Van Splinteren has taken the lead and Nicholas Scholl has gone with him. So Scholl very calmly moves into P2. turn five. Into the last couple of laps. The top six separated by less than one second. Can he can make a move on Gideon Lay? The answer is no. Nicholas Scholl trying to line up a move on Joey Van Splinter when they come out of turn at number nine in towards turn ten and eleven. Scholl can't make the move there. Hernandez third. Fourth now, Oliver Clark. Picks up two places there, passing Ethan Tan and Gillian Lay to move into P4. Good drive there from the young Norfolk based driver from Kings Lynn. Van Splunter and having to defend on the penultimate lap. Scholl tries to swap the crossover move coming out of the first hairpin. Not going to happen. Into the second hairpin. Still can't happen. But now he can get the crossover move done, possibly down this back straight. Because he forced Van Splinteren in a little bit deep. And Scholl's right there to give him a nudge, but nothing more. Can't make a move. Here comes the battle of the third. Clark up to P3. At turn five there at the expense of Hernandez. And now Gillian Lay muscles Hernandez out of the way. And Clark up the inside of Scholl for P2. Oh, a little bit of door handling going on there. Clark's got it though. Well, from last to second, inside 10 laps. Not bad going, and now Van Splinter looks over his shoulder and he's scratching his head. Did you qualify last yesterday? And here you are, in a heat race nonetheless, sitting on my rear bumper. How rude. go into turn two on the final lap. Ethan Tan now trying to battle for third place with Nicholas Scholl through turn number three. Van Splinter running Clark first and second. That looks like it's a done deal. Can Scholl hold off Ethan Tan for P3? The down end of the back straight into turn number five. Behind that group there's a huge battle going on between Zhao Ferreira, Ghani Rahane, Gillian Lay, Maurizio Hernandez who have all fallen back Jonathan Brown is ninth. Then the number two, two, four car of Charles Tasnieri is next. There's Scholl back at the inside of Tan. And here comes Oliver Clark. Can he get past Van Splunteren before the line? The answer is no. Van Splunteren takes the win. Second for Clark, third for Scholl, fourth for Ethan Tan. Zhao Ferreira comes across the line, a very well deserved fifth place for Zhao. Rahane finishes in 
sixth position. Then it's Gideon Ley, Jonathan Brown, Maurizio Hernandez, rounding at the top ten, Charles Tasnieri. Jason Bian was 11th, then followed by Jacob Ang, Konstantin Scholl, Christian Hristoff, Manuel Galofre Tornia. Sadly, Ido Cohen and Jack Deakin failed to finish.